Welcome to a video of what is probably the weirdest clock radio I will ever show off on this channel. Now on the surface, you're probably looking at me going, well, why is it weird? We'll get into that. On the surface, at least, it doesn't look too weird. I mean, it's a Sony, after all. I mean, it is analog. Usually when you buy a clock radio, you don't buy one that's got an analog face on it. But, I mean, that's not too weird. You've got an alarm mode switch on this side, plus a DC 3 volt input that I do have the proper power supply for. See on the back, uh, there's our model number, model ICF A15W. Uh, there's some battery requirements made in Japan. There's your time set, little switch there. It's detecting a face on the time set thing, the camera is. I thought I turned face detection off, but whatever. Anyway, it doesn't matter. There's your tuner, there's your band select, volume control, there's what I paid for it, which is probably about $60 too much. We go and look at the top. Uh, it's got a sleep timer, on or off. I don't think you really get too much of configuration for that. Radio on off, it's just a simple switch. There's a light button because this is backlit, and there's your alarm switch. First odd thing that you might notice is that uh, there's no snooze button, and I guess this is supposed to be your snooze switch. Because uh, when you have it pushed off, the alarm is on, which I think is weird. It's not the same for the radio, which we'll demonstrate in a minute. There, of course, is your band. Again, nothing too strange there. And there's your battery compartment. It takes three double A's, which is very strange. But here's the incredibly strange thing about it that I've noticed. Well, at least one of them. You can see that this is plugged in right here, and if we follow this wire... come all the way over here and see we have a Sony power supply here which appears to be plugged in and yet if we take a look at it the clock is not moving also the lights not working the radio works though so what's up well nor I actually thought that it was broken at first but as it turns out you actually need to have a battery in the clock compartment here, these two control the radio, which I believe it says. You might be able to make it out that it says radio there, so you can run it without this 3 volt input. But this 1.5 volt battery is required to make the clock work. Same deal with the light. Now, I don't think that's a particularly useful light, but it's there, I guess, nonetheless. Now, what about the alarm? Where is the alarm setting? And how do you set the alarm on this? Well, watch what happens when I twist this face. You see, that little thing moves. That is your alarm. So it looks like, well, actually, that's not true, because it works the same way as an analog clock. So unless you're setting it for right on the hour, you're not going to necessarily know what time the alarm is going to go off. It's a big problem with these analog clocks, but that's, again, other than the, the whole setting thing, that's not too particularly weird. Before we get into the other weird thing, let's go ahead and demonstrate the radio. So we'll bring it all the way to the bottom of the band here. Uh, I'm not sure if it's on FM or AM. I think it's on FM. We'll turn it on. Unfortunately, somebody did break the antenna off, so I have no antenna, but... And you can catch up on stories you may have missed. Not a very good radio unless you get good reception on a station. 
Margaret reception sounds like crap. Yeah, that's a local station. Listen to that. Sounds really bad. Well, it almost sounds like AM. Yeah. I don't hold out much hope of AM being very good on this. Picks the interference up very well. Go figure. Switch it to AM. COVID-19 and 177 are in ICU. Alexanian has you. Yeah, really just picks up a lot of interference, but uh, that's probably cons because of all the computer equipment that's in here. I don't feel like moving it anywhere else. All right, so how about the last weird thing? Let's turn on the alarm. We'll make sure the alarm is set to melody and have a listen to what happens. I may make this into its own video, but this is a very amusing. <laughs> that is weird to not put too fine a point on it. And they expect you to actually wake up to that. I'm sure somebody can. Don't think that person's me, though. Either way, uh, thank you for watching. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them down below. And this is CP666 signing off, and I hope to see you next time. Till then.